When Daniel first came into the program, he had no language. He's been with us for three years, and now he's able to request what he wants, and he's able to follow directions, and label, and, and have a conversation. What is it? Pa. What is it? Cookie. Knife. Nah. Nice. Nah. Our focus is really on teaching the students how to communicate, how to follow directions, how to socialize and participate as a group. Who would like to come find their name and sign and raise your hand? It is a wonderful feeling and it's especially nice for the staff who have seen that many of the students that come in really have no language and no communication skills and leave here requesting what they want and answering questions and participating in a group program. It's my first time working at a real job. In my past several years, I worked, but I worked at the tech center. Like, I didn't get paid, I was in class. And I really enjoyed my class, and I learned a lot. And I learned all about recipes and whatnot, and now I'm here working. thing for us here at the career campus is watching the light bulb kind of click on. Absolutely, we always uh, tell people when we're uh, talking about our place that you know they're going to get some stackable credentials, certifications that make them stand out from other people or you know just stuff to add to their portfolio and if they do go on to go into the business of cosmetology or culinary that's great. But if not, they have a license that when they're going to study to be a business manager, they can make a lot more money right out of the gate. TV is more than just what you see on camera. TV is a lot behind behind the scenes. It feels really good because you know, like you did that, the video was yours, you, you planned it out, you got all the actors and talent, and you did all the cameras, and it's really awesome to see that. I expect the kids to come away with a grasp of how a television program is put together, both from the point of view of the camera and what it takes to get a good shot. Yeah. Never gonna get this experience at their home school. They don't have people right. who have been in the business and know how to teach them the way things are done. They are doing a unit on romanticism mm -hmm. and they're creating their image of a perfect man. Okay. Um, and then they are taking that image, we are digitizing it and uploading it to a, a technology tool called the voice thread and then they are going to record um, their narrative of how they came to create that picture. Primarily what we do is support libraries. We try to build capacity in school libraries. It's no longer the library, the, the past. Now it's a very active environment. Librarians are usually, you know, many times just one person in a library, so this really gives us an opportunity to get together and share um, thoughts and resources um, and really couldn't do it without the school library system. We see ourselves as the go-to team, and we want to be very responsive to our districts and to our educators and in our communities. We work directly with teachers and administrators in, in helping them implement new curriculum, and so the work that we do directly helps kids. Our goal is to serve our districts, and sometimes our districts have some unique needs. It's really gratifying to know that we can kind of help say it's okay, we've got this, here are the resources, here's how you do it. We're on a continual journey with educators around what instructional practice looks like, um, how it's changing, how it's evolving, um, how we help um, our kids meet um, the demands that they'll have um, for 21st century learning. I've always believed that some of our best practices sit right here in Westchester County. My name is Medina Welch. I came to Southern Western Boces and I received my high school diploma equivalency, aka my GED. I was in a position where I almost got to become a director of an assistant living home. That is my passion to do with dealing with senior citizens. 
I couldn't get it because I didn't have a GED or a high school diploma. If students come with the commitment that they need to have to do this and really want it, they can absolutely do it. It's, it's a wonderful feeling for the teachers too when we succeed and then people come back and share it with us. Next for me is to go to school and become a registered dietitian and also get a degree in business management and do more things with my life, like go back to school and do something that I didn't get to do, it. It, even at the age of 33. The purpose of the Incarcerated Youth Program actually is to help facilitate the transition uh, from incarceration back to the community. The other involves issues around social, emotional, uh, intellectual transformation. Well, I think that ultimately it gives them a second chance. And also we see the uh, incarceration is not so much an end point in one's life, but as the beginning of a different path. We're trying to turn a negative into a positive, actually. Uh, take advantage of the, t of the time that we have with them. Again, help them to make the transition to better things in their life. students from different countries all over the, the world. So most of them, 80% of the students are Latinos. Uh, we have some from uh, Africa, from AT. I teach level one and the students, uh, they can choose whatever they want to They practice uh, dialogues, they practice reading, writing, speaking at the same time. We represent the tri-county area here of 62 school districts serving 300 school buildings and about 220,000 students. Our main responsibilities are technology support for school districts, teaching and learning services, so there's a whole PD piece and all the staff development and training of teachers and, and administrators in the area of the use of technology in the schools, as well as the infrastructure pieces, which is an entirely technical side of the house. Our student data services handles all of the testing and the processing of those tests and re the requirements for the state education department. That means that every school building feeds right into here during testing time. All that data is compiled and all that data is then pushed up to state ed to feed into the state system and then eventually the information that comes back out such as a parent report card or the data that goes to teachers about individual students all emanates from here back out to the local school districts. We support the printing of checks for school districts and we run their financial services departments that we help support them with the technology that allows them to operate on a daily basis. We do a planning and support services program which also helps the school districts in analyzing what their needs might be going forward. I really want to be one of the nurses that stands up for people and um, is, is a patient advocate. Uh, BOCES was definitely the stepping stone that I needed to get to where I want. Our simulator mannequin it allows us to um, have you demonstrate your assessment skills, your nursing diagnosis, your implementation of evidence-based practice. They feel very confident actually when they leave the school that they're, they're really a nurse.